I, I will. Show. Once we have, we have about five, right? Zul, uh, scroll, scroll again. <coughs> refresh, Zul, refresh, refresh. <coughs> so refresh it, refresh. <coughs> so we have twenty-one, right? So refresh. So we have eight. Okay, now we have enough to show you how the analytics works. So in the smart V2, we don't have analytics features. In this one, we have. So I'll show you how the analytics work. So what you need to do is, uh, you cannot see this, only the lecturer can see. So once I assign you, you'll be able to see it. Scroll down, Zul, to the last. Scroll down to the end. Okay. Inside this, you have your, this is the administration block. It's right at, you cannot see it because you're enrolled as a student. So once you get lecturer control, you will see this block. Okay. In this one, you will actually see reports. Okay. You can click reports. Okay. So we have all the reports here. Okay. Tomorrow your student says, I did not see it. You can actually see it here. They'll say, I did not download the lecture. It's actually here. And now what you see here is something known as analytics graphs. Click analytics graph. Okay. Now I will click on content access. Okay, content access. Now you can see the graph. Okay, you click all, click all, click, 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 and click file, click file, okay, click, okay. Uh, and then you build graph. Yeah, build graph. No, there's no students. Uh, no, I'll show you both. Both I will show you, okay. This is actually the graph of the activity now. So this one you get instantly. So suppose your class is on feedback. Suppose you have 150 students in the class. Okay, and then you don't know if the back student are listening or the front student are listening or someone, someone is not active. You can actually get it instantly in class. The student cannot see this. Only you on your console can see. So this is the analytic graph. And then the reason why we give you this graph is because you can see five students have not access. So from the graph you can actually assess, access the content, the data. Now what you can do is, okay, you click on that tool, click on the, uh, the you can actually email them straight away from inside. You can send them a message saying, please submit, you are late. Okay? So you'll see it immediately, <laughs> you are late. See, now it will come to your email. You, you'll see it in your email. It's just, it's just for, I'm just showing you, but this is, makes it easier for us to deal. So you have 150 students, 75 didn't submit. You can't keep on sending 75 emails. This one you click, you send directly through Santar. They, it will send automatically. From the graph you can see, okay? So send, you are late, okay? Send, send mail. So this will go to everyone, okay? <laughs> so you will see in the email, but once you install the app, Moodle mobile app, you will see it in the app as a blink, like a WhatsApp, you will see like. Okay, I'll go to that. Okay, okay, I'll show you, Zul. So basically, Zul, uh, go Balik, Balik, okay, so I will show it to you again. Okay, so you go back, Balik, Balik, okay. Okay, so you come here, you come here to this, and then you see the report, reports, the reports icon. Actually, doctor, all this is in our book. We have created a book with the video instruction, the Smart V3 manual. So this is basically, has many things. Okay, I can show you something. Okay, see, uh, I'll show you, these are the log. Log is the log file of who has accessing. Okay, we click logs, we have live log. Okay, live log, okay, live log. Just click live log, I will just show you what's in the system. So it tells you who's there, see? Okay, okay, everyone who's there, when they logged in, where, what their system was, so legally, no one can say, oh, you upload, I upload the assignment, but you did not, uh, you did not check, so it's there inside, they cannot say, we. so you can, so you have your course, your log, your IP address also, so suppose you want them to install uh, from the, or upload from the class, you can check the IP, okay, Wi-Fi IP is here, okay, so coming down to that, okay, so you go back to report zone. Okay, doctor's question is regarding the analytics, right? It's here, analytics graph. So you have grades chart, if you have graded them, content access, number of active student, assignment and his distribution. Okay, so you can have all this. So you can click assignment submission, click, click here. And then it shows you how many people submitted, how many people did not. Instantly, it's instant when they see. Okay, and then you click and then you can send. So from here you can click, click, go to the other side, so click. And then you send, a, you just click on the graph. Click on the one who didn't send, they will send out. So it will automatically send out, okay? So this one is not using any uh, JavaScript. You don't have to enable anything because it's using a non-JavaScript browser. Okay, so that's the way. So it's not no app, sorry. Okay, so